Hi, I'm Andrew Morris with Our Town TV. I'm here at the Middletown City Building, and I had a chance tonight to talk to some of the Middletown School Board candidates. Come have a look. All right, Anita, with November 3rd so fastly approaching, I, I want to ask, what would you like to see as far as the direction of Middletown City Schools? I would like to see a, a higher sense of cooperation and collaboration between administrative staff and the teaching staff. I think a teacher learns to um, entice the children in her classroom to do what she wants by making them involved and including them in what goes on in the classroom. And likewise, I think administrative staff has to be sure to capture the teacher's attention to draw them into what needs to go on in the district. So what is a unique attribute about yourself that would entice people to vote for you for Middletown uh, School Board? I think probably uh, that I bring a unique perspective as an elementary school teacher. Um, I've taught since 1971. I've also been an elementary school counselor since 1973, sort of at different times. Um, and I believe that I understand education. I understand how children learn. I understand the differences that uh, school systems have to deal with. I understand the delicate balance that people have to have in working with parents, working with administrative staff. So I think those qualities would make me um, a good candidate for school board. All right, Michelle, uh, tell voters a few things that you're really passionate about seeing change in Middletown's city schools. I think that more than anything, I'm passionate about making sure that the decision making for the district is done correctly. I feel like we're making a lot of last minute decisions that are based on budget constraints and when we keep making those decisions over and over again, we don't know where we're headed. So I'm very passionate, passionate about getting the stakeholders, like the community involved in putting together a plan and a vision for the district and then setting up goals and making sure that our administration is meeting those goals based on what the community wants and based on the best practices in the state. Middletown has so much potential. I have four kids that go to school here, from preschool to high school. And of course, I want what's best for my children. I want what's best for my community. And I think that without having a systematic approach to making decisions, we don't know where we're headed. So we don't know if we're going to continue a downward spiral, losing families, losing teachers, or if we're making budgetary changes that are helping us to build and grow and be a better school district. Michelle, why should voters choose to vote for you on November 3rd? Well, I think voters should choose to vote for me on November 3rd because of the knowledge, skills, and abilities that I can bring to the Board of Education in Middletown. Um, I graduated summa cum laude from Wright State University um, in, a, in a bachelor's degree in corporate finance. And I also have my master's in public administration. So, um, and what I've done with those degrees is not build this impressive career. I focused on my kids and I focused on my community. And I strongly believe that in gratitude, we should think about the things that you know, helped us to get to where we are. And we should use everything that we've been given to give back. All right, so Chris, you're running for school board here in Middletown City Schools. Why Middletown? Why do you choose to live here? Why do you choose to serve here? I mean, I'm proud to call myself a Middletonian. My parents taught Middletown City Schools for 35 years each. And I know Middletown. I know there's all kinds of potential here. I know there's all kinds of excitement in regards to a lot of good things that are happening. And I, I know my young, I have a kindergartner and I have a, a fourth grader in, in Middletown City Schools. And I, I know they're going to be exposed and um, able to kind of adjust to a world and be a part of a community that I think will prepare them to be adults that are articulate compassionate and well adjusted to the world they're going to encounter and so it's I love my neighborhood I love my neighbors and, I, and I'm excited about the potential that to see five years three years even a year down the road on what good things can happen all right Chris why should folks here in Middletown vote for you 
for school board. All right, well, I stand here next to you as a parent of kids in Middletown City Schools. Like I mentioned just a few seconds ago, I have a kindergartner, it was a sad day sending her off to kindergarten, <laughs> uh, but I trust that she's getting in, going into an environment that's gonna be a great place for her. And for my son, who's a fourth grader at the same school, for them, for all the kids who are their friends, for every kid that hops in a car on a school bus and enters one of our buildings, I mean, I'm committed, I am passionate to make sure that they have the best 13 years they possibly can have that will allow them to do the wonderful things that, that they should be able to do. Secondly, I send next to you as an educator. I am a son of two highly esteemed retired teachers. Uh, my wife, my beautiful wife, she's a teacher in Centerville Schools. And myself, I'm a teacher. Um, I teach at Miami and I have an undergraduate, a master's, and a doctorate in education. My dissertation was on student achievement in high poverty schools. This is my thing. This is what I'm passionate about. And it would be a privilege to be able to sit and be a part of a conversation to solve problems, to innovate, to create an environment that these kids so dearly deserve. And lastly, I'm, I'm a Middletonian. I'm excited. And too frequently, I, I, I get the impression that people kind of shrug their shoulders and they hang their head in this community. And that's not the life I live. That's not the environment that I, I grew up in. And to be a part of a new kind of more excited, more in, more passionate, more committed community it would be exciting for me to be a part of that process. Okay, Todd, so tell us a little bit about the funding you helped to receive from the Ohio Department of Education. Yes, I'm really excited about this. This was in partnership with the Community Building Institute here in Middletown and recognizing our need to improve literacy, um, youth development, parental engagement. We worked together to try to bring funds back. So. We were fortunate to work with some great folks out of Columbus, Ohio to secure a $1.2 million grant from the Ohio Department of Education. Now, the significance of this funding is that it allows us to reach our kids in literacy and math, two areas that we need to find improvement in here locally. Also, youth development. So these are activities that we do after school, 15 hours after school, all sorts of various programs, everything from STEM programs, karate, music, you name it. We can put those programs to work and we have the funds now to do that. In addition, we have money for transportation. Um, as you know, transportation is an issue. Oftentimes when we're looking to bring um, change in a district, it's, it's one of these odd areas that we often forget that transportation becomes the key area to move all these programs forward. So the grant also allows us to put money um, towards transportation to move our kids into new programs. It also provides money for parental engagement, which is an area that we have talked a lot about in the district. Really happy that we're able to do that now. Um, provide some longer term programs as opposed to just programs that maybe meet a couple times a year. These provide a substantive way for us to reach families and work with them long term. So um, I, I like to actually call it a strategy rather than a program because oftentimes we have so many different things going on so it gets lost in the shuffle. But it does give us a significant amount of money and it allows us to bring our community together around some very important issues and uh, raise our district report card. That's really the fundamental focus of the funds. Okay, Todd, so why should folks go out and vote for you on November 3rd? Absolutely. Over the last 10 years, I've had significant experience working in public education. I've been in the classroom, I've been an aggressive fundraiser, I've built partnerships, and I've raised a significant amount of money to put towards ideas. And I think that's one of the things that we really need in our district right now, is new thinking, to be able to go out and bring our partners together to collaborate around ideas. But we need folks at this point that are willing to really change the way we look at leadership. And that's one of the key areas that I want to focus on. Improve our school climate. Uh, there's a lot of distrust in the district. I want us to fix that. We have tremendous opportunities here within our city. I want us to focus on uh, communication. And once we win the respect of our teachers and our community, and we focus on innovation, I believe that we can make wonderful things happen for our kids and families. All right, Deanna, what is something you could do right away to impact Middletown City Schools for the better? Well, one of the things that um, I've been working on currently, um, I'm going into my fourth year, um, is to really help define and organize everyone's roles and responsibilities. I mean, we have organizational charts and we have all of that, but I think that there is a disconnect between the community and the schools. Um, sort of like you may maybe I would apply this to let's say the community um, council, the city council. What is their, really understanding their role, the role of the mayor, the role of the city manager, who does what. 
Um, the same thing with our school district. What's the role of a board member? What, what, are, what are our powers, you know, how much control do we have? What things are sent down from the state? Um, many people don't understand what happens inside the schools. Many people don't understand the kinds of mandates we have to operate under. And so I think one thing that teachers, board members, community members, parents, students even, really taking that time to organize and under, help them understand our roles. Deanna, why should folks vote for you on November 3rd? Well, you know, there's been, um, I've been in this now for going into four years. And I think people should vote for me because of my dedication and passion for education, but also my commitment to um, taking that time to understand the role of the board. I've spent 20 plus hours um, in professional development, board development. I've spent 25 hours uh, plus working on policy. And you, you know, it's almost like you really get it. You really got your, the, your, the meat of it. And so I think that it would be a disservice to just stop now. I think that certainly I'd, I'd be really excited to serve the community in this way for a bit longer, for another term, because I can help us realize those new schools. I can help us continue to increase those um, test scores and also see our report card improve as we have already in just the last few years and so I'm really excited um, about being able to serve the community again in this way I think people should vote for me because I live here I work here my husband's a teacher here my children go to Middletown City Public Schools so they can trust that I would be a voice and a liaison between the community and our schools so tell me exactly what a school board member does Katie in Ohio, a public school board member is elected by the community to represent them, um, to help promote and advocate and um, develop their schools, their public schools. Uh, we have three important jobs. One, to, to hire a superintendent and also a, a treasurer in Ohio. And the third role is as a policymaker. Um, the superintendent involves uh, doing searches, finding a good fit for our community needs for education, um, evaluating that superintendent, and making sure that he's doing, following the policies. Um, the treasurer, you certainly want someone of integrity and honesty to uh, an understanding of the very complex school funding finances in Ohio. And uh, both of these people we have live in our community and feel they need to be part of the community for um, just getting to know our, our needs. Uh, the third role I've enjoyed um, is working with school policy. Much of this is dictated by the state legislature and the federal legislature now. And, but there are local issues that are of concern. One of the first things I did uh, to develop policy for our district is to require our students to graduate with a semester of technology, um, advanced technology, and a semester of speech communications. Uh, this is not a state requirement, but this is certainly a goal we have for our graduates. Uh, policy um, is overarching, um, understanding of the direction of the district, the expectations, but it is not the um, getting down into the administrative regulations. So it's very challenging to uh, evaluate the superintendent and treasurer, uh, set the expectations through policy, and then um, be accountable. Okay, Katie, why should voters vote for you on November 3rd? I uh, still have a commitment. My campaign is Katie for Kids. Um, you have to keep your focus on students, student achievement, um, expectations for those students' success and I have 20 years experience. I have um, in understanding of the role, the responsibilities of a school board member. I have a lot of um, skill sets to bring as a business owner in manufacturing, also with a master's in education. I um, bring that understanding to our work as a school board. I. Um, I'm very interested in seeing the completion of our facilities plan. School board members are very involved with um, working with our state in designing um, and keeping our school facilities plan on budget and on time so we can get the kids in the best facilities we can as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, leadership in the district um, relating to staff and um, administrators in a very collaborative and honest, open way. 
I feel is important. So I would appreciate being re-elected.